Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use the displace filter to distort and apply text onto your photo in a more realistic way. So I have this photo open and I'm going to grab my text tool and lay out an example text layer. Now you can see in this example photo there's all these up and down contrasting leading lines in this wall of pipes and our text doesn't really reflect or apply onto that since they're just perfectly straight lines. So what we can do is use the photo as a map to tell Photoshop how to distort the text. So hide your text layer and any other extra layers you have just so you have your plain background that you want to distort upon. From here you want to go to file, save as and save it as something like displacement map or whatever name is going to help you remember that this is the map that we're going to use. Remember this is just the map for the filter that we're about to apply. Don't forget to save things separately when you're all done and not mix these files up. So from here you want to turn your text layer back on that we want to distort and now you can go to filter, distort, displace. So it's going to ask you to rasterize or convert your text to a smart object Let's just convert it to a smart object and here it'll open up the displacement filter. So the horizontal and vertical scale is how far you want it to displace in each direction. I'll just leave it at a default strength of 10. And the displacement map options of stretch to fit and tile are if you were using a PSD that wasn't your original photo and it was like a gradient or something and it wasn't as big as this document size is then you'd have to choose to either stretch it to fit this document or tile it. In this case, it doesn't matter since we're using the exact same size. And undefined areas are if you were to use a really strong displacement scale and your pixels start to reach the edge, do you want Photoshop to wrap them around the other side or repeat the edge pixels until they met the edge? Uh, if you've ever played with the other distort filters like Wave, then you'll kind of know how those react. In this case, we're not going to reach the edge, but keep that in mind for your own experimentations. So once you press OK, it's going to take you to your file browser, and here's where you want to select that displacement map PSD that you just created. Once you double click on the PSD, Photoshop will apply your settings, and you should see your displaced text effect. From here, you could use things like blending options like the blend if sliders, to blend your text color and texture into the background even more. And use layer masking to place your text behind objects or within objects in the photo. I have a tutorial on each one of those blending techniques as well, so I'll link you guys in the description or the end of this video. But that's essentially the displace filter and one way that you can use it to blend text into a photo. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it below and check out my other text blending tutorials. Definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all future new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.